Okay, let's take this uh, 1987-88, certainly on e-registration, um, Land Rover 90, County Station Wagon, genuine V8, for a spin. Lovely original car, this one, actually. Warning lights come up. Um, one thing, the, the choke warning light is coming on occasionally, it is now, but um, the choke is in. But uh, obviously a slightly dodgy switch. Starts beautifully. Um, I've done just under 150 miles on this now. Absolutely fantastic, actually. If you've not driven a V8 Land Rover before, um, they're superb. Um, they put uh, the um, lower capacity ones in the shade. Just out of here, off we go. So, what can we tell you about this one? Um, showing 97,000 miles, with the history we've got and with its ownership, I suspect that probably is genuine. And certainly the way it drives, turn the fan on a bit. Get some heat in it. Up the hill we storm. Um, so yes, 97,000 miles and lovely. Starts on the button, hot or cold. No uh, misfiring, hesitancy or overheating or anything like that. Um, so I've done just under 150 miles in it. Really, really nice engine on it, all round actually. Um, 97,000, it'd be just about run in really. Clutch is nice, gearbox is good. There's no uh, jumping out of gear or whining from the box at all. It's just, um, just gets on with the job basically. Uh, all the drivetrain feels really nice and quiet on this one. It's not uh, whiny the way that some of them are. And because it's running on the standard tyres, it's not, um, not too noisy um, on road. Suspension and brakes and everything all very, very nice. The only thing I can detect, possibly one of the uh, shock mounts on the, um, on the right hand side, right rear is possibly a little... Uh, uh, a little warm because sometimes when you go in a left-hand corner you can just hear a very slight sort of uh, very faint clunk from the rear end as uh, presumably the um, suspension load changes but uh, no overall really really nice tracks nice and straight no uh, issues there actually find this one very very difficult to criticize all round um, not been messed with. I don't think it's ever seen any sort of uh, proper off-road life or anything like that. Had one owner for many, many years. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the choke warning light has gone off now. Um, all the dials are working properly. Speedo is working nicely, not flickering. Fuel gauge, temperature gauge and voltmeter. I haven't seen the low fuel warning light come on, so I can't guarantee that works. Uh, but the fans all work, getting a nice uh, amount of heat in here. The clock isn't working though, but I don't think that's a, a deal breaker somehow. Power steering's nice, it's not wandering about the way some of them do. Just uh, trundling along the road quite happily. I've got no um, criticisms or complaints about the way it, uh, the way it drives at all. And be, being a county, of course, it's fairly quiet. Uh, it's got all the full proper county soundproofing kit on it. Also the tinted glass, um, proper uh, cloth seats, which are pretty much unmarked really. It's had a stereo in it, but that's been removed. But just, yeah, the V8s are generally always very, very nice. And this one, because it's not um, seen any uh, hard use, is, uh, is very, very good in its own way. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk. End.